Hi everybody and welcome to Take Time Game. <laughs> All right, let's let's try that again. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host Katie. This is a very special episode uh, because I have hit 50 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I wanted to celebrate by dedicating an episode to you guys, my faithful viewers, and focus purely on a cocktail. Uh, the last cocktail episode I did was the Mai Tai and I also reviewed Cat Quest in that episode. But this time, we're going to be all cocktails. I know my parents are super excited about this one. Uh, I know I'm known for my tiki cocktails, but I wanted to make an episode that gave you guys a recipe that you can do easily without going down the black hole that is rum collection. So this episode, which some of you with bartending experience may already guess what it is, is going to be about a classic, the whiskey sour. Yes, the whiskey sour. What is a sour? A sour is essentially a cocktail, not a mixed drink, a cocktail that is made up of a booze, a citrus, and a sweetener. And it's typically only three or four ingredients. So the whiskey sour is a sour, black is sour, rum sour, those are all basics. A margarita is a sour with four ingredients, the fourth being your triple sec or your, your Cointreau. Now the whiskey sour has been around since like the 1700s. Uh, people have been drinking this cocktail for a very long time, but it was only just written down in 1862 in a book called The Bartender's Guide. And from then on, there have been many different iterations of the whiskey sour, but always maintaining the basic ratio of whiskey, lemon juice, and simple syrup. So, all right, now it's time to get down. Yeah, are you happy now? Are you gonna interrupt the video anymore? But the basic recipe for, for a whiskey sour is two ounces of whiskey, one ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, and if you like it, uh, an ounce of egg white. Uh, and I'll go more into detail about egg white later. Uh, but the basic sour ratio is two one half. So if you feel like experimenting at home, uh, making sours, just remember two one half. Two ounces of booze, one ounce of citrus, half an ounce of sweetener, and there you go. That, and that you can make a sour, they're super easy. So my recipe, because I'm a booze hound, I actually use two and a half ounces of my, my whiskey. And I always like to use bourbon. That's, I, I'm a bourbon girl through and through. So while I get started making this first whiskey sour, an original, um, the original recipe, I should say, let's talk about what bourbons I like to use. I have tried a lot of bourbons. And when it comes to affordability and blendability in a cocktail, uh, I found three that stand out the most for me, and I typically keep two of them in my house at one time and I rotate the third. Uh, but I like Buffalo Trace, I like Four Roses, and I like Bullet Bourbon. All three of those I, I go through quite a You can see how large the jar, the canisters. You can see by how large the bottles are that we go through a lot of this in my house. So for the traditional basic whiskey sour, I like Buffalo Trace. So I'm going to start with my two and a half ounces of bourbon. And you just straight into your shaker. One ounce of lemon juice. And as I talked about in my Mai Tai video, strain your lemon juice, otherwise it is too sour because you don't strain out the pith and that's where you get that really mm, mouth-sucking sensation. So strain your lemon juice, always use fresh squeeze when possible. Uh, and all you need is just a cheap little plastic squeezer like this to squeeze your own juice. You don't need to buy it at a store. So one ounce of this. 
and this is strained already. Oops. Let's pour it everywhere. And this is why we have a bar mat. Because Katie's messy. All right, and now we have our simple syrup. And if you haven't watched the Mai Tai video, you should because it's awesome. But a simple syrup is a one-to-one -one sugar water ratio. You put one cup of sugar on in a pot on the stove, add one cup of water, bring it to a brief boil, stirring all the while till it's fully dissolved, uh, let it cool, throw it in the fridge, and you have your sweetener. Don't ever waste money buying simple syrup at a store. Just make your own. And you can do fun things with simple syrups. You can make rosemary syrup, vanilla bean pod syrup, cardamom syrup. I mean, the world is your oyster with syrups. So I'm gonna use half an ounce of this. And I just got these squeeze bottles in a big pack off Amazon. So there we have that. Uh, I also like to add a dash of Angostura bitters in my whiskey sour. Now the traditional whiskey sour recipe does not call for bitters, uh, but I love bitters and I think it helps round out the flavor just a single dash of it. Uh, if you are using aromatic bitters that come in a dropper, just use eight drops and that is equivalent to one dash of Angostura. So I'm just gonna dash. And now let's talk about egg white. I have never gotten sick from eating raw egg white before or raw eggs. If you eat Caesar salad, if you eat raw cookie dough, then you've had raw eggs. And I'm not telling you, please don't sue me if you go out and eat raw eggs and then you get sick, but you can even try and find pasteurized egg whites, which are guaranteed not to hurt you. But I like egg white in my cocktail. And the purpose of egg white is to give it a creamy, a thicker mouthfeel while also giving it a nice foam head on top of your cocktail. Now, egg white does not taste like eggs in your cocktail, so don't think that you're gonna be drinking your breakfast, uh, unless that's what you're into. But don't worry about it affecting the taste of your cocktail in a negative way. But if you are really squeamish about using egg white, uh, you can use aquafaba, which is basically egg white made from chickpeas. And that's totally safe for you uh, there's no risk with eating raw chickpeas. So you'll be fine if you try that. But if you're like me and you don't care, <laughs> get your egg white at the grocery store, shake it up really good. Shaky, shaky, shaky. And then I like a full ounce of egg white in my whiskey sour, sometimes a little bit more. Now the next stage, uh, is possibly the most annoying stage of making the whiskey sour. And that is the dry shake. When you use egg white, its purpose is as an emulsifier. And to get it to make that nice foamy head, you have to dry shake the cocktail before you ever add your ice. And the problem with that is that without the ice in the cocktail shaker, it lacks that seal. And pressure builds up inside the cocktail shaker and it wants to explode and go everywhere. Suki, you're making cocktails. Wow. So I recommend getting a dish towel and wrapping it around this because it's gonna leak down the side. Just, it's gonna. And I wrap it up like this. And then you wanna shake for about 15, 20 seconds. Um, a really a good lengthy dry shake longer than you're going to shake it when you've got uh, when you've got your ice in it. So I'm actually going to go over to the sink right now and shake it over there in case it explodes all over me. I don't want it getting on the counter. So BRB guys. And that was just a nice little gentle pop. It, sometimes it depends on what the pressure is outside that day, depending on how much it's going to explode. But you can see it it leaks a little bit. So I'm just gonna wipe that off and fill it with ice, do the ice shake. And then you can actually, if you wanna take a look, see all that nice foam that's gonna be the head of your cocktail. But let me get out an ice cube for my glass. And I just use a glass like this for my whiskey sour 
And I like to use these giant block ice trays I got at Amazon. Boop. And now I have my ice in my glass. I'm going to ice up my shaker and shake it until it is nice and frosted. See, look at that creamy consistency. Thanks to the egg white. So garnish. A whiskey sour is typically garnished with either a lemon peel or an amaretto lazzaroni cherry. Now these are not maraschino cherries. I actually despise those. I think they taste like terrible, terrible medicine. So if you wanna get fancy, you can buy cherries just like that. And because I'm not fancy enough, I'm using a dinky little toothpick because I don't have martini spears. But ideally, you wanna have a martini spear that is long enough to cover the diameter of the glass and then you drape it over. But this is just your little... And there you go. That is your basic, traditional whiskey sour. Although I did add the dash of Angostura, but <laughs> just don't tell anybody, okay? So let's taste it. And you can see already how it's getting more of a head on top. It's so good. Oh, hot damn. This is, no. Okay guys, you've mastered the whiskey sour. You are a sour genius. So, say you really want to impress your friends when you have them over for Friday night cocktails. How do you spice up the whiskey sour, you may ask? Guys, I'm about to tell you. I like to use Matilde liqueur. And I have both the peach and the pear flavor right here. I actually bought a small version of the pear and realized it was delicious. Ended up buying a giant one of the peach. And they, uh, there are many different flavors of this but it's not it doesn't taste fake or like candy like you know like dick hyper flavorings or all the bottom shelf stuff these are specialty liquors that will not break your bank and are a great way to spice up a whiskey sour so cameraman would you prefer a peach whiskey sour or a pear hey peach Peach? I'm guessing that was a peach. Okay. Yes, he's happy. Cameraman is happy. All right. So what re recipe do we use when we're making something with an additional sweet liquor? Well, I stick with my two and a half ounces of bourbon. And for this one, I'm actually going to use the four roses, which I find um, has almost a fruity note already. Uh, and I like combining it with other fruit flavors. Uh, that are not just ne necessarily uh, citrus. So I'm gonna open up this bad boy. It was a brand new bottle. And we are going to pour two and a half ounces of Four Roses bourbon into a shot glass. That is two and a half. And as before, I'm going to use one ounce of lemon juice, strained. And now for our peach liqueur. I'm going to use three quarters of an ounce of this. And I use that same measurement for both the peach and the pear. Gosh, it smells so good. I mean, it smells like fresh peaches. Mm. And lastly, the sweetener. And because that liqueur is so sweet, I drop this down to a quarter of an ounce. It's actually a little bit less than a quarter of an ounce, but that's how I like it. 
took like 0.15 ounces, almost. And we're going to add our egg white again. And if you really don't like it, if you try it and don't like it, you have to try it first before you say you don't like it. Uh, you don't have to use it, but I like it. So I'm gonna cut here and come back to you when I am ready to pour this into a glass because you've seen me shake bef like, before. <laughs> Get on my horse, my horse is amazing. <laughs> All right, so we are back with our peach whiskey sour. And we are going to garnish this one. A little twist of lemon peel. Ta-da! Also, you'll notice I didn't include Angostura in this because I don't think it's necessary. very good. Not to toot my own horn, but it's tasty. Here, cameraman. Quit your whistle. And now I'm going to rinse out the cocktail shaker. <laughs> and I will get back to you with my last version of the whiskey sour BRB. All right, I have rinsed out my cocktail shaker. And it is time for the third version of the Whiskey Sour I'm going to show you in this Thank You, I Hit 50 Subscribers episode. And this is called the New York Sour. It actually has a different name. But what it is, is a Whiskey Sour with a float of red wine. Suki. I use the same exact ratios as I do for my traditional Whiskey Sour. I use for the New York Sour. The only difference is uh, I, I don't use Angostura bitters in it, and I don't dry shake my egg white. I still add egg white for the creamy mouthfeel, but I don't want the foam head interfering with the red wine float. So I just throw it all in the shaker at once. So let me make that for you real quick here. This is why I drink. Rude ice maker. We are back with a freshly shaken whiskey sour. Goodness gracious. I got this thing cold. Suki, stop getting into mischief on mommy drinks. Okie dokie. And now to turn this whiskey sour into a New York sour. You want a sweet red wine. You don't want dry, you don't want a, a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Cabernet Franc. Uh, no Pinot Noirs. Go for a Malbec that leans towards uh, like dark fruits as opposed to tobacco or uh, uh, earth, earth taste. <laughs> earth taste? I know wine, <laughs> it tastes like the dirt. Blends are typically a really good good one to go for. Anything like Petite Syrah is typically a pretty sweet wine. But I just, I had this at home, so I'm trying this. It's uh, Syrah Grenache and uh, Mourved. Um, this is just a blend. So you should, you'll probably be fine if you just pick up a blend. And I just eyeball how much I want in there. I poured it in a measuring glass just to make it easier. And a little trick. Um, is to pour it over a spoon just so that it helps distribute the, the wine because you actually want a really nice clearly defined border between the wine and the drink. You do not want to stir this drink once it's like this, once it's poured. And that's good. And we're going to garnish it with another uh, Lazzaroni cherry. And this is a New York sour. As I said, do not mix or stir your drink. You just sip as is. That is delicious. It's a drier wine than I was hoping for, but it's still really good. Now, if you come across something like that, 
you pour it and it's like, mm, you know what, next one, I wish I had a sweeter wine, but you don't, uh, up your simple syrup. Uh, always play with your ratios if you're not getting what you want, what the taste you want out of something. Yeah, that is it for my whiskey sour episode. I know it wasn't a tiki cocktail, but I hope it's something that you guys will watch and go recreate at home. You know, go make cocktails for your friends, make cocktails for yourselves. Life is so much better with a cocktail in hand. And thank you again for subscribing to my channel, for liking my videos, for commenting on my videos. I love being engaged in discussion about the games I'm playing, and I really enjoy all the, the funny, witty comments you guys make. Thank you for subscribing. 50. Uh, get excited for 100 subscribers. Tell your friends, so because if I get to 100, then uh, I'll do another cocktail episode. Something I don't know yet. I don't know yet, but I'll do it. Uh, so yeah, like and subscribe this video. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Okay, what is my Twitter? No, nope, that's my name. TYT Gaming, capital K, capital C. And I mean, two and a half ounces of bourbon per drink, and I guess I'm already feeling it. Thank you again, you guys. I really, like, truly, 100% appreciate it. Cheers to y'all. See you next time.